All right, here's number uh, 56. I got uh, number 54 and 55 hanging up right here. I'll pull those down and, and show them to you. But first, let me uh, double check uh, the tune on this. I'll give you a listen to them. And uh, I'll go over the details of, of all of these all of these guitars. They're gonna they will be on my site as of uh, this video. All right. thing about this one is uh, it has a quad rail uh, humbucker and this is a uh, pretty hot pretty high output uh, so you could put it back here in the bridge I did put it up here in the neck position so uh, when, I was, when I'm playing it I got the volume about halfway and uh, on that last strum I just kind of kind of So this thing is uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so quad rail, nice uh, F, F hole for, uh, for as a sound hole, hardtail bridge, little this is a metal hat style uh, volume knob, and this one has uh, locking tuners, maple neck, and uh, mahogany just to kind of kind of match the box. I think it came out very very nice so this is number 56 there you go so this one uh, this one will be on my site along with these other two. I think you gotta look at the Texas Lancero in my last video, but uh, I'll still give you a quick look at it. Here is uh, this is a Stillwell Star. This is number uh, 55. It has a MGB uh, mini bucker, top of the box humbucker in the uh, neck position as another F hole. Uh, for the sound hole, hardtail bridge, you see, very nice. Um, and this is number 55. This one does not have uh, lock and tuners, it's closed gear tuners, but this is uh, walnut on walnut, and I just put a little maple up here just to kind of set it off. This thing plays really awesome, sounds good uh, acoustically.
guitar. This is uh, another one. This is probably about the thinnest box I'll go. And you can see there's probably a little, there's a little relief cut into the bottom of the, the neck to get inside the box. Um, just to kind of even it up and give me the distance I needed up up top here So this one came out really awesome Another one that's gonna be up on my site and then uh, Again, I know this was in my last video, but I did update this one a little bit so I'd like to At least show this part to you. So here is the Texas Lancero. What I'd like to show you is the uh, the what the pickup cover looks like now so this is a giddy bucker um, and this normally be a plain wood cover it's been painted and then uh, this design has been cut into it very very awesome another another fine guitar this is number 54 it was in my last video, it was built in uh, December, I just uh, haven't put it on my site yet, but I, uh, all three of these will be up on my site now. Thanks for uh, for checking this out. I wanted to. I still have a few more guitars that I'm working on, um, but I wanted to get these get a video out on these three because uh, they are now on my site. Um, as I'm working on the rest of these, and those will go up on my site. I will be doing another video on this Sober Mesa that's sitting here behind me. I think I need to do it justice by uh, featuring it in a video. Uh, if I have, it was a long time ago. This has been on my site for a while. Um, it's one of my earlier builds, but just because it's an earlier build, uh, it's got some, some things on it that I don't do anymore, but it still plays and it sounds really awesome. So I will break that out in another video and, uh, and give everybody a good look at that. But uh, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.